Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. And I'm here today to show you a really cool 1978 Toyota Land Cruiser. This Land Cruiser's got some special features, but it's really very original. Starting with the engine, it's got 138,000 miles. It's got power disc brakes on the front, which is one of the benefits of getting a 78 model. This one actually has air conditioning and I've got it turned on right now and the air is blowing cold. It's got a, a split manifold header exhaust system with a quiet muffler so it's sound stock. It just helps it breathe. But as far as we know, the engine's never been rebuilt. And when you start it up in the morning, it smokes just a little bit. Right now you can't see any smoke coming out of the tailpipe, but when you shift gears you can kind of see a little bit of blue smoke, which could be the valve guides getting weak or the, maybe the rings. But overall she's a, a good driving little Land Cruiser. I've got receipts for the complete brake job that was done front and rear. The interior is black vinyl and it's, it's in very, very nice condition. You can see the vintage air, and if you can feel it right now it is blowing cold. It's got an AM radio, it's still got the data tags on the dash for the transfer case, and it is the 4-speed, which is highly desirable. The dash is in good shape, except for one little spot right here is starting to crack, a little place right here by the windshield. The windshield's actually in perfect condition, and this is the first Land Cruiser that I've actually seen that has, still has the headliner in it. It's not all the way attached. But underneath the headliner is a fiberglass shell, and that's how they came from the factory. So it needs a little headliner work. It's got the jump seats in the back. It has the rear, what I call the Colorado heater, the popular ambulance doors, factory roll bar. The interior is nice and it's very clean. This paint job was done about 10 years ago, and it does have some flaws in the paint. It's not perfect. You can see the chips right here with the seat belt. When you let go of the seat belt, it flies. The old Broncos did kind of the same thing. You can see a little bit of overspray on the door panel. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a perfect paint job, but it, it looks good for 10 or 20 feet. It's got a few little chips and flaws, like right here. You can see a little scratch right there. A few little chips right here. There's some bubbles in the paint kind of walk around it it's just got a little little bit of patina going on I like the the wheels or the factory steel wheels with some BF Goodrich a little bit oversized tires than what they came with it's got the hard top and the motor runs real smooth all the gears shift good the clutch is strong there's no uh, grinding on the gears they're all they engage very smooth it's got the original worn lockout hubs and it's even got a sticker on the dash for the hubs, which is kind of cool. Shows you the operation. It's idling right now. It has good oil pressure. The engine runs very cool. You can see the temperature. I've, I've had it running for about 30 minutes. The battery is charging. It shows 33,000 miles. So it's got, <coughs> excuse me, 133,000 miles. You can see some chips right here on the the door sill where you get in and out, which is pretty normal. It's kind of windy out here today, so I hope this video comes out okay. Up front, you got the Era Correct Warren 8274. And by today's standards, these, these winches are very reliable. They're very fast. That winch, brand new, is about $2,000. It's got a nice roller fair lead. It's correctly mounted down in the powder coated bumper <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna take another video of driving it but there you have it if you don't mind a few little rock chips a few little scratches you can see where the, the paint's kind of chipping off in a few places little chips here and there like I say it's certainly not perfect but it's it's very very nice it really drives excellent I'm very impressed with the ride and drive <laughs> but thanks for looking, thanks for your time. This is Bronco Bob, we should be happy to